What's going on today, YouTubers? Welcome to another edition of Walking Reviews. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these, probably a couple weeks, um, and I really have no <laughs> good reason uh, not to have done one. I've just been lazy. Um, but uh, the ever-growing pile of knives in my room have been screaming, and so I figured I would at least take one out today and uh, review it. So this one is a custom piece by Dustin Snyder. Um, Dustin is not a full-time knife maker, as far as I know. Um, he's a, you know like a talented amateur, uh, but his work is pretty darn nice. Um, there are there are some you know weak points to it, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, let's go ahead and get the specs out of the way. Um, we have a three and a half inch blade of like a raindrop Damascus. I'm not sure the exact name of the Damascus. Let's show it to you in some light. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. Um, as you can see, the blade is very obviously a chisel grind. Um, and although the Damascus is nice looking, I'd say the blade is one of the weaker points of the knife. Um, on you know, obviously here on the locking side, it looks a lot nicer. I'm not a huge fan of chisel grind knives. I actually didn't know this one was a chisel ground knife when I bought it. Um, but uh, the, so the weak point of this knife is is in the blade, and the, the reason for that is the edge. Um, like I know this is a handmade knife, but you can see here the the bevel isn't all that even, um, not all that sharp, to be quite honest. Um, I know chisel ground knives are intended to be used in a certain way, but this one isn't all that sharp. Uh, and you can see here the um, little Ricasso is not, I don't want to say sloppy, but that's the only word that's coming to mind. It's kind of sloppy. Um, but really that's kind of the only beef I have with this knife and unfortunately it's a, you know, for a, a, a custom knife that isn't cheap by any means, I, you would kind of expect the, the blade to be, uh, not perfect, but certainly usable and certainly a focal point, you know, action and... <clears throat> style and all that are great uh, but at the end of the day you know these are supposed to be tools so um, so yeah three and a half inch blade of uh, that stainless Damascus with the chisel grind um, really good blade to handle ratio the handle is only four and a quarter inches in length um, giving us an overall of seven and three quarters you can see the handle is, is extremely well done um, which was kind of jarring for me to have such a well-made and executed handle and pocket clip and you know flipping action um, you can see how smooth that is it just drops drops shut but all that is so well executed um, and the blade I think maybe that's something that he's working on his blades um, yeah so I'm trying to see if I can see the stuff in here there you go um, the construction is extremely simple. It's just this body screw here, um, and then the pivot screw, and then you can see there's the stop pin. It does have a Timascus pocket clip, or Mokutai. Again, I don't know the difference between them, and I probably never will. Um, yeah, beautiful pocket clip. I really like the shape of it, uh, the way it kind of flows against the handle there. Um, but just really well executed. It's got like an orange peely type finish to it as well uh, This does run on caged bearings the handles are titanium and then you've got these kind of mayo-esque um, Speed holes or lightning holes or whatever you want to call them in sort of just like a random splash on the handle um, I, I am I am definitely a fan uh, of the overall profile of the knife and 
the execution of the handle. It's extremely comfortable to hold. Um, really a uh, nice gent gentle finger groove here. All of the edges are extremely um, well done, well rounded. Um, it just, it feels almost soft in the hand because of how um, he executed the edges. It's probably not gonna show up all that well on camera, but you can take my word for it. Um, so it, it doesn't have uh, like a lock bar insert, but he has carbonized the titanium there so that uh, there's no lock stick whatsoever. Your lockup is about, uh, let's call that 30% or so. Uh, like I said, the, the action is just incredibly well done. Uh, I like his flipper tab. I'm extremely, uh, extremely happy with the way that this flipper tab functions. It's high enough up. You can see that the, the top of the flipper tab is just over the top of the pivot. Um, there's no jimping, but you don't really need it. It's just curved enough to where it um, catches your finger without being sharp. So if you want to push button, you can certainly do that. Um, you can light switch it, obviously. Uh, so the, the pocket clip, definitely necessary, um, and as well as the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The spacer here, just for that pop of color in an otherwise you know, fairly drab knife. Even even the blade um, is such a dark etch uh, that it that it really doesn't like. It's not one of those etches that's gonna like wow. You know, you're not you're not gonna be blown away by the etch. It's you know, it's a great pattern and everything, but it's so dark. Um, and the, the you know the knife itself being as stone washed as it is 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 dark as well. That it, it wouldn't. I don't know, it wouldn't really be something that would stand out to you if it didn't have that really uh, bright pop of color. So if you see in here, this kind of blew me away and it was, <laughs> there's a reason that that's pointing inside. That right there was a really odd choice to me. It's not a spacer, that, that thing on the, the right there, not the, um, not the Timascus uh, barrel spacer, but that little, you can see that little titanium, it almost looks like a washer, it's not. That was a lanyard hole <laughs> that just stuck out of the back of the knife. It's basically just a piece of titanium um, that sits here and then it was just a big hole that, that jutted out of the back of the knife and it was extremely uncomfortable. Your hand would sit right there and it would jab into your hand. So I just loosened that screw and tucked it inside and now it's much better um, it, it was such an odd choice to me like it was like almost like someone said to him after he had finished making the knife hey that better have something I can tie a lanyard to it just felt so second thought <laughs> out of place I don't know it, it was weird um, but that yeah that would probably be my second beef with the knife but uh, it's it's hidden now so I really don't care um, so really the only issue I have with the knife, uh, again, is that blade. Uh, I'm gonna have this, normally I would do it myself, but I'm not super familiar with chisel grinds and I want it to be kind of cleaned up. I want that bevel to be cleaned up. So I'll probably send it out to be, send it out to be sharpened by someone you know, more skilled than myself. Um, but other than that, I mean, weight wise, we're under four ounces. It's like 3.3, I think. I want to say 3.28, but it's really lightweight. Um, excellent profile. Uh, you know, once this edge is cleaned up, it'll be a great, um, you know, utility style knife. The handle is out of this world. Love the contoured um, titanium. I love the way that he that he did the edges. I guess you, you would call it chamfered. Um, the flipping action is spectacular. Um, really fast and really smooth. Just a well, there's a lot to like here. Um, there are some mistakes, but there's a lot to like uh, in this little knife. And, you know, being that he's an amateur maker, not a full-time maker, um, the prices of his knives are also reflected in that. So, um, 
you'll find his knives and he will go from anywhere from like say 500 to say 800 and that's secondary market prices so if you were able to contact him although i think his books might be closed but if you were you were able to get in, in touch with him like say on instagram um and work out you know a build it's probably it's probably going to be even cheaper than that so um yeah the price is the price is right for what is otherwise a fantastic knife um barring you know some some fixes being needed on the the blade and um man i would love to find a way to get rid of that thing but i think it would screw up the uh the spacing of the knife maybe just uh <laughs> does anyone make timascus washers that maybe that would work i don't know um the uh that stop pin is also hidden when the knife is open so you get a really clean look a really clean look to the knife um yeah really like that that look to it extremely comfortable um yeah i'm kind of rambling at this point uh, i don't know if i have anything else to say about the knife let's see nope yep i'm done all right guys that's gonna do it for this review um i have another review uh coming up eminently um i have so many that i have to do but uh i'm gonna stop looking at it as one project and just do you know do them one at a time so hopefully i'll start getting them out more frequently all right guys take it easy